Hi everyone, so my name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School and today I want to give you a couple of top tips about Singapore orchids or dendrobium, okay? So these would be the baby baby of the orchid family and to me they probably more remind me of the Philanopsis orchid because you have the Philanopsis orchid which is like the Rolls Royce of orchids and to me the Singapore orchid or the dendrobium would be like its little baby, okay? It's not identical, you know what I mean? But to me, like they have familiar kind of features. And then you have your normal standard orchid and then you have the cymbidium orchid. And to me, the cymbidium would be like the baby of the mammy orchid head, if you were to put it that way. So, but the Singapore orchids or the dendrobiums, they're often known as the butterfly, like in flowers, because again, they kind of bounce and they fly. They're ideal for flower arranging, but they're also brilliant for wedding work. So like in wedding work, like to use in what we would call a teardrop or a cascading wedding bouquet. Do you see like portrayals coming down out of the bouquet? They're beautiful. Or again, even in your typical formal share bouquet to get like that triangle kind of point at the end. Do you see again where you could use a couple of stems of them? So they're ideal. But also what they're brilliant for is when you're doing wired corsage work. So I know with our students on module three, we teach them like how to do flower crowns how to do corsages, how to do wrist corsages, waist corsages, hat corsages, corsages for decorating the wedding cake. These are all absolutely fantastic. Plus, they're a great long lasting flare. So just have a couple of little tips and maybe you would like to write these down. Remember, you can always pause these videos, run off and get a notebook and pen and come back and write down your top tips. Because I always advise the students to have their own book with all their own notes about treatment and conditioning of particular flowers. Because again, everyone has their own views and their own experiences. So first of all, the dendrobium flower is available all year round. So if you have weddings any month of the year, you know that you will be able to get them. They're a great lasting flower. They last between 14 and 21 days. Now what they do hate is the cold. So if you store them in a kind of a drafty area, or again, it's pretty cold out, you will find you're not gonna get that sort of length out of them. They do have a short stem. That's about the length of the stem that you're gonna get on them. So again, if you're planning on maybe using them in tall arrangements, they're not really suitable, but they are brilliant for like trailing out of one side of a flower arrangement or even both sides of the arrangement. They come in a variety of colours, the main colour being the white one that we have here today. But you can kind of get like a kind of a, a shade between a dark pink and a purple. You can get a greeny one, which is probably more lime green. And at certain times of the year, you can actually get dyed ones. But be careful about taking a Pacific order unless you've organised that with your supplier to maybe get an orange one or a peach one. But they can be bought, brought, brought in, um, but they're actually dyed. They like temperatures of around 15 degrees Celsius, so as I said, they don't like the cold. Now normally when you buy them in, they have a little water vial at the end, and there's probably a special orchid food in these. They don't drink a lot of water, and it's really important that the flower heads don't actually tip the water. So if, say, you decided to remove the tube, which is absolutely fine, I would always recommend recutting them, so take approximately one and a half, two centimeters off the end, roughly an inch, okay? Cut on an angle, so that way you're opening up like a 45 degree cut. You open up a bigger hole than if you cut straight across and keep them in a shallow vase of water. As I said, any of the heads, you know what I mean, that are completely submerged under the water for a long time, they kind of go like kind of crepe paper, kind of, um, they kind of go limp, They're not, they wouldn't be the best, okay? And um, they hate the draft, okay? They um, love being misted. So if you have yourself a water mister, because as I said, they prefer like warmer rooms. So if you kind of like mist them occasionally, you'd be amazed how long that will help or how that will help prolong the life of them. If you find that they do go limp for a very short period of time, you could actually submerge the heads either that way down into the water and not for a long time, because as I said earlier, they hate being submerged completely in water. But for the short term, if you submerge the heads in water, they take in a certain amount of water to the petals, and again, it'll revive them or rehydrate them. Um, I absolutely love them, and most of our students possibly use them more in wedding work than we do in flower arranging. So hopefully you've picked up a couple of little tips there. Again, if you do have any questions, absolutely feel free, post any of your questions in the comments below and we will get back to you. So my name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flare School.